That is, uh, this is a group of people that move from non, non, total non-literacy into post-literacy at one step. That is, into the electric software world. They bypassed the whole hardware world. Do they have television stations? Do you know that Masters never mentioned one word about entertainment? Radio, TV, movies, not one word was mentioned. Then how, what post-literate world have they gone into? Our world. The 20th century is a post-literate. It's electric, you know. We don't know whether they have television. We're not there. We're not in the 20th century. Oh, no, somnambulating away in the 19th. Oh, sure. We're still wandering around in the 19th century. This New York City is completely 19th century. Excuse me, I am lost. Please help me. 对不起,我迷了路,请你帮忙. Uh, Margaret Mead told me that she once took, I, I think she said, six or so uh, paper bags up on her on her book to the Admiralty Islands, and by chance some of these natives had opened them, and they were absolutely amazed. They said, "They're the same, the same, the same, the same." Yeah. It had never occurred to them that a book was something that's the same as another book, mm -hmm. and the kids were to hit them like a ton of bricks. It, uh, it, is a, it is actually a magical form. Repet, by the way, magic is itself a form of repetition. Repet, by the way, magic is itself a form of repetition. Repet, by the way, magic is itself a form of repetition. Repet, by the way, magic is itself a form of repetition. And uh, print is a magical form. Why? We didn't have separate rooms at that time, and we would divide the, the receivers, and uh, we'd find a very good point in the crystal for a program, and give them the problem and not the answers. Then that is definitely a positive point in favor of the, of the, of the mass media. Well, again, you're making a value judgment. I'm not making any judgments about the mass media. I say, if you want to solve these problems, give them to the ignorant. Don't give them to the learned. Well, you do want to solve them, don't you? Of course. And we'd fall asleep with the, <laughs> the receiver on the pillow and our ear against it. How to spell. They were playing 2,500 years in reverse. The huge smog of inky blackness that was settling over the mind of Europe. Which one of these people? Yeah. Oh. Did you feel... I found, I was, for example, at Cambridge, I was amazed to discover that uh, a large proportion of the undergraduates, they were uh, uh, like uh, high school kids from Canada. Stupid. The right of every man in civilized society is the right to be protected against the consequences of his own stupidity. Now, what he was saying was that the ordinary modes of human living and endeavor create nothing but chaos. And if you want order, you have first to start with the fact of human stupidity and greed and nonsense and put them in order. When you moved your lips. What is the nature of your thoughts, gentlemen, when you say fuddle duddle or something like that? God, you on, 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 another, on another occasion, uh, after uh, after one of uh, forgive me, um, we were talking about a some astounding statement that some New York literary intellectual this was the '60s uh, had uh, <laughs> uh, had made. I think it was uh, Susan Sontag on the occasion in which she said that um, that. White people are the cancer of the human race. I think that, that was, um, and Marshall's comment to that was, um, well, he said, you know, moral indignation is a standard strategy for endowing the idiot with dignity. Hey, is that funny to you people? Where somebody said, are there any sick jokes about Marshall McLuhan? Turning the whole of mankind into a dunce. These are little iconic uh, juxtapositions. Tate ceases to be linear at speed, by the way. Pattern recognition. 